Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. In our last episode, we finished up our town in the marshlands over here, uh, Venzor, and that also finished up our blight cycle, so we need to reset that. Uh, we did six towns in this one. Remember, the first two were before the Harvey update, and then we've done four since, one of each biome. Um, and uh, we unlocked a bunch of content because, well, it was the update this time, so we unlocked everything again. Uh, we gathered a bunch of stuff, of course, because, again, the update. So, uh, let's end the cycle, and let's see what the new map looks like. So, right away, our three friends have gone out and found their their sites next to one of the bonus sites. But I'm not that concerned about the bonuses anymore because we are all done with all those. Uh, what we could do instead is look at some of the deeds that we haven't done yet uh, when the game is not completing any orders. This would be a good one to do now. Uh, really close to the Citadel at an easy map. We could do that easily enough. Uh, pun intended. Win a game with two Dangerous Glade events standing. Actually, that one goes all the way up to uh, four Danger Glade events standing. We could potentially try that one. Uh, let's see. Restore Rain Punk. That's just random luck getting one of those. Um, three Marshlands in one cycle. Three Scarlet Orchard in one cycle. Uh, we I think there were the other ones. I guess not. Also, win a game with at least 25 Lizards. That's, uh, yeah, they're cranky enough as it is. Cursed land. Uh, curse of, let's look for the biome, the Curse of Woodlands uh, biome. Uh, weather anomaly, we could look for one of those. Uh, four makeshift hearths, we should do that one. Five mines. Well, that's something. Uh, another two games on the Curse of Royal Woodlands, so that'll take a little bit of effort. 400 orders, that's just a time thing. 130 points of reputation through Villager Resolve. Interesting. That'll eventually happen too. Uh, 50 infused tools and storage. Uh, yeah. Queens and patients grow above two. That would be tough to accomplish. Two active open vaults on the map. Cursed Royal Woodlands again. Uh, four impatience. Wow. Uh, that would be tough. In a game, two times near different modifiers of the same type. Does that mean it has to be Weather Anomaly? Or it could be any? Hmm. Win three games in a cycle without completing orders? That would be tough. Well, we'd have to do it close. Wait, wait isn't there, is there not a number two of that one? Because I looked at the first one. Apparently there's not. This is the first one. And then it jumps right to... Okay, it's not a third step, it's just win three, three. Three active light rod cysts. Well, that would be a good one to pair with this one. The four danger glade events standing, because blight rod cysts count as danger glade events. And when the blight rod cysts explode, they turn into more blight rod cysts. So if we get one of those early enough, we could potentially just leave that glade alone and um, let them keep exploding and that would let us get this one as well as this one. Uh, finally, 12 reputation points to resolve in a single game. Wow. So no orders, turn-ins, no caches, none of that. That would be interesting to try to accomplish as well. So I think we'll we'll maybe do a, a, near, a near map, a normal difficulty map here. Um, Maybe, let's see, where should we start at? It would have to be right up here against the, the Citadel. We could potentially try for a few of those, uh, a few of those deeds. Um, the no orders one would be a good one to do. And the, um, maybe we could try for this one. If we're doing no orders, we could potentially try for this one too. No caches either. Uh, let's see. And if we can get the Blight Rod Cysts to pop, we could do that, but I don't know if those cause reputation to drop. Before we do, let's look for, like, the Weather Anomaly Biome, or, uh, Modifier, or in Settlement. But those are gonna be Stonewood. These ones, I think? No, that's Trade Block. Rune Settlement, Trade Block. What is the Rune now? Uh... We have Cursed Biome out here. What's the weather anomaly look like? There it... That's, a, that's no pause. That's Trade Block. 
stone wood, multi instruments again. Do we not have any weather anomalies? Am I being daft? Both? There it is. Way out there is the only one? That's the symbol. That's the only one on this map. Well, then this map's not going to be good for that particular goal. Oh, here's one. Still, that's pretty far out, too. Uh, so let's let's pick one of these sites that are close. Um, not sure which biome to decide on, though. This would allow for more growth. Uh, gra grasslands would allow for more uh, harvesting speed. Uh, the orchard would allow for more wood cutting and fuel burn time. We do have at least one or two uh, marshlands here, and that gives us no bonuses. And we do not have a close enough coral forest. I think I think I should just do Royal Woodlands. I don't think there's any difference in these. Now, the corner ones give you three more food because of the corner being touching more fives than twos. So we could do that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do no order turn-ins and try to do no caches as well if we can and see how that works out. Uh, we want to take some of this stuff, I think. Uh, let's see who we can give her a caravan. I think I'll go with humans and harpies, maybe. Um, although that's less food. The beavers will give us some bricks and more food. But I think we'll start with the humans and harpies anyway. This one, this one. Uh, we should pick one of these. Um, incense is just for humans and lizards. Training gear is harpies and lizards. Ale is humans and beavers. Scrolls are education, which I think is it's definitely beavers. Is it harpies or humans? Uh, and is religion also harpies? I wish I had taken notes. Because I don't think... Yeah, I don't think that's harpies. I think we'll go with, uh, I think we'll go with training gear. Can always turn those into luxury packs too, uh, if we need to. Two points left. I think we'll do some sort of building material. Uh, we could do not bricks. Um, let's do cloth. Yeah, let's say cloth. And I think we'll go from here. Embark. See how this works out. We have, of course, three uh, positives here. Three positive forest mysteries. Mushrooms after rain. That's a uh, plus three to mushroom production. That's good. We'll have mushrooms in this biome. Uh, warm welcome. Reputation for result. Oh, oh. Well, that's lucky. And uh, increase the speed of its traders by 300%. Well, that's good, too. We can get some trading done. Much easier. Lumi Darkness, of course. Uh, reputation generation from Resolve grows 95% slower during Storm. That's fine. And Strange Lights, we need services, which is fine because we're going to want that for reputation. Anyway, this was dead lucky. You guys are welcome for this one. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Woodcutter. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think maybe we'll start over here on this side somewhere. I will also need to have the stone cutter to cut these roots. And we'll need to have the scavenger to start scavenging those uh, thingies. Unpause and let them start building. Let's build a road here and here, here, and here. And we can look at our first building choice here. Artisan rain mill will get us flour. It's a good option. Uh, oh, we were talking about somebody. Uh, Kirish uh, mentioned a thing about pigment. Pigment is made just from coal. Now, coal is a problem in this biome. 
but it's also made from berries or bugs, which are not a problem in this biome if we get the right harvesting um, uh, buildings. But the interesting thing about pigment is you can make it from coal, and if you have a couple of decent mines, uh, coal is cheap and easy to, to accomplish. And, uh, uh, which means pigment's cheap and easy to accomplish. Pigment can be turned into trade goods, and then trade goods sell for a crap ton of money. So that's a really good combination um, if you wanted to do that. Now this, I think I would go, I think I'll go with the artisan because, well, no, I think the tincturary. Although having the flower would be really nice. But having the ale at two stars means I don't have to, to do a brewery. Uh, also then wine, of course, and the pigment uh, would be useful for cosmetics for the harpies. So let's do this one, um, even though I shouldn't have done it yet. Well, we're not going to get any orders anyway this time, so that's fine. Um, kiln. Oh, maybe we should take the kiln uh, to get some coal made from logs. Uh, let's see. Pack of crops, pickled goods, and fabric. Oh, man. The grove is the one that collects resin now. I think we'll go with the kiln. And then the plantation, the forager camp would get us insects. The ranch would get us meat, leather, and eggs. The supplier is planks, water skins, and flour. Let's go with the supplier. Okay. And, um... You need to move over here. You need to move up here, which I probably should have just done that better in the in the uh, beginning. Uh, let's assign a couple of humans to this job. Or maybe a, a, a harpy. Uh, at least one harpy to that. And at least one person as well to this. We'll leave the last two to do uh, building tasks. Or three. Let's do uh, one more here, I guess. Because it's food. And then we'll continue this way. There you go. And now we can also build our uh, food workstation so we can have the stuff to get the stuff to make the stuff. And a cornerstone. We're going to try not to open any caches, so I'm going to ignore this one. Uh, traders will lie 25% quicker. Trade goods are worth more. That's a good idea. Gain 10 amber every time a villager dies. Uh, hopefully that won't happen. Uh, but this is... Oh, we were talking in the chat on the last episode, too. Um, the uh, This is the distinction I was making that I was, um, I don't know, grumbly about. About the, the, the one uh, force mystery we had that said the villager would leave and then they were dying. And that's because of bonuses like this. Um, there's, there's some of these that are specific to dying, some of them that are specific to um, leaving, and then some that will affect either one. And this is... Um, uh, this is why, because if I had taken some of the leaving ones and they were dying, then... I wouldn't get the bonus, whatever the bonus happened to be. And vice versa, if the opposite were true. So that's that's why I was grumbly about it. Just because it, it said one thing and the other was happening. It didn't affect me because I didn't have any of these bonuses, but it's still, um, that's what I was grumbly. Anyways, and then the Flame Amulets is not very useful in a normal difficulty map, so we're not going to bother with that. We're going to go with the trade log, trade log one. Let's go up to speed two. I have to trim some trees over here, too, to get some more space around the, uh, the thing here. Um, and I'm, I can't take any, or I can't turn in any of these, so I think I should just not take any of them. Bummer, of course, with the hammers here. That's a nice, easy one to get, and we can't look at the other ones, so, uh, I'm not gonna tempt myself by looking at any of them. I'll just click the button to clear the thing, and then that'll be it. Uh, broccoli, small encampment, and dewberry bush. Small encampments are nice because you can get some early people or some early amber just from a few pieces of food, which is which is nice. 
Um, I think probably the amber would be better here, but we get the no glade one. No, we didn't get the no glade one. Okay. I would like them to chop down here. I'd also like the builders to build me another woodcutter camp so that we can uh, make that. But I can throw the last the builders in there if I'd like. Uh, let's look at buildings here. Uh, tincturary is f not what I want first. No. Supplier, probably. I need five planks. Two bricks. Yeah, we'll do that one first. So, supplier. Five planks. We don't need any fabric because we took some of that. And two bricks. We need some clay to make bricks. Well, crap. Either way, go ahead. Start making the planks, at least. I should probably just go ahead and take this. And, oh, beavers are our third race, though. Let's go ahead and do... Go ahead and do that. This is early enough that I think people are more advantageous at this stage. And then I can put that beaver in here and put them to work. Work, work. No, wait, that's uh, orc, not a beaver. Can I do anything? No, we need bricks. We need lots of bricks. Oh, crap. We need to find some, some clay. These give herbs as a bonus. This gives clay, though, right? Yeah, this gives clay. So that's at least some source of clay. How about you? Anybody? Bueller? Not yet. I only assigned one person there, so that's why it's slow. There we go. And uh, throw a beaver and a harpy in here. And I think I will let these ones come over here and start clearing out this area. Last Harpy can be a random builder. Should probably just extend that road down. We should probably get maybe the Forger, because I think that's what includes uh, bugs, if we don't see the Trapper sometime soon. It's going to be a little rough to start, though, because we're not going to have any reputation to start, so buildings are going to be tough. One of those bonuses that gives you reputation for selling stuff at a trader would be kind of nice, though. You all can now come and join... ...this party. And I can put up the uh, trading post... ...right away. They're just about done with roots already. What do we have left? Just three charges. So I'm going to pull this um, harpy out of there and have them go and help with the wood cutting. Uh huh. Look at me. Clearance one building a trading post. Stonecutter's done. Alright, we can clear that. Alright, we have a Harpy Firekeeper, so we have the, the Global Carrying Capacity bonus. Open up. Clay, good. Okay, well then you can come back over here and build some, or collect some clay. Just put the one in there for right now. you doing? Oh, you're collecting those roots. I didn't notice there was roots there. Okay. That's fine then, I guess. Roots are food. Uh, no, we should, we should, we should disallow that for now. Let's 
move this up here. Can I make some brick shit? Or did I make some brick shit? We did. Okay, good. Let's uh, make that supplier. And then you can continue the road out here so we can move the stone cutter out there to get the roots. If I remember, they're there. Alright, so Hilda's here already. Uh, anything I can sell? Hammers are going to be probably useless for me this time because I'm going to hope to not open up or open up any caches and get that uh, resolve only thing. I don't know if I'll make it, but hopefully. Uh, there's nothing I have that I can really sell in any quantity. Wood's not bad, but yeah, I would. But I would like to get some. Well, what would I like to have? I'd just like to have some of these, but we can't really use the farm yet. We don't have any houses built yet, which I should probably work on. So I think I'm just going to let that go for now. This. Oh, yeah, we can't look at those. Uh, this. Coats. I think that's a decent choice because that's, that improves happiness. And everybody except for the, uh, the harpies because they don't wear coats for some reason. Even though, this is a weird thing, they don't... Oh, they do take education. Okay. Uh, I meant to look at that earlier. They don't have a bonus for coat wearing, but if you look at them, well, I guess they're not. That's that's probably just no. That's that's a coat. That's not their body. That's that's a coat. They're wearing like a cloak already. So why would they have a problem with coats? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, no. <laughs> Resolve gain. No. <laughs> Uh, new, newly discovered resource has a 20 more charges, but two villagers die. No, probably not this one either, so let's take coats. Always take coats and people. Uh, let's go with one of each. I think. Yeah, let's go with one of each, and I can throw a beaver in uh, here in lieu of one of the humans and balance out those a little bit. We're going to need some harpies for this. Uh, and we're just going to make planks for right now. That's all we have. Let's put one harpy in here, or I can put two in here. Let's put two in there. Uh, planks. Production limit of 30. And you can stop making planks here. Uh, you can finish the ones you have, I guess. And then let's make... Can we make the kiln yet? No, we need more bricks. Well, we're getting clay now, at least, so... That's good. This is a small building. We'll put that here, I think. That's two bricks. And then once you start the next batch, then I will uh, open that up. Come here and clear these trees, please. Trees, please. No, not that many. Straight in there. Um, and you are working on your second batch of bricks. So I can turn that off. I think you are, because there, yep, there's two there. What do we got? Uh, mushrooms and eggs. Okay, we can scavenge eggs, at least. I'm going to plan for a road. One, two, three, right here, of course. So let's shift this around slightly. Right here. One, two, three, yeah. Oops, there you go. And uh, let's go up here, I think, next. Open up this glade. That's fine. This is getting built, which means you're done. Uh, you could make fabric, actually. Limit that to 10. Uh, let's see. We want to make coal at uh, 40 for now. Bricks, let's go 20 for now. And I forgot what the third thing was in there. Jerky, right. That we could use. Uh, we're going to make unlimited jerky, but I want to make it with coal... 
yeah, we'll make it with the local coal. We can't put lizards in here because we don't have any. So let's put a human in here. And that'll be good enough. Eggs and more mushrooms. Okay, we really could use to have the herbalist. And that'll help with the berries as well. And let's take out just a bunch of these trees here. Just so I can build a little bit of a downtown. Let's scooch in there next to that one. And you can come in this way now. What do I have? I have one builder. And sailed us back already because of 300% faster trader speed. Can I sell anything to you now? Uh, I could sell half my wood, I suppose. Ish. Ish. Uh, to get some... Amber. It's not really helping me much, though. Oh, I gotta go up, not down. But I don't necessarily want to sell any more wood than that. That at least gets me started. What do I have? Forger, trapper, small farm. Uh, Can I make another 12 amber up somewhere? I'd like to have that trapper. Can I do it? Coats are worth very little. Even if I sell all my wood, it's not enough. Um... Yeah, coats are worth almost nothing. Could sell a bunch of this. Man. Let's hope I don't regret this. I know we're low on fuel. Even though I can't use it yet. Uh, except for the eggs. Well, we could use it for the eggs, I guess. Well, then I should put it here to build. And then move it. I'm going to have to open up a danger glade, but I think I have enough production of things that I'm okay to open up a danger glade. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay, too. Not that I really need to extend those roads one more tile, but... Idle hands kind of thing, I suppose. So let's not scavenge eggs. No, that's not a scavenger. This is a scavenger. And let's trap eggs instead. Although... Oh, Stonecutter's board. Right, roots. There you go. I don't really have any extra people. Uh, although I could throw that harpy at it. Uh, once they're done with the building tasks, which is actually already done. Harpy? Or human, sorry, human. And let's come over here. I could also pull some woodcutters out, too. Don't really need six of them. Oh, we kind of do, because I spent all my wood on trading. Open this up. Luckily, we don't have uh, reputation problems, or uh, hostility problems, because we're on an easy map. And we can start building uh, beaver houses, I think, because those just take planks. Uh, human houses need bricks. Harpy houses we could potentially build, too. We have lots of... Well, we sold most of our plant fiber, but we could make more. Start those out here. I only need one beaver house. I could do a couple of harpy houses, though. 
there. Boom. Alright, we've got an ancient shrine. Medium abandoned cache, fertile soil, bleeding tooth mushroom, eggs, and clay. Good, more clay. Uh, this is going to take stuff we don't have. Uh, we can make the fabric, but yeah. Now, I think I can take these. I think I can. Can I take these? Or do I have to get it only from Resolve? I have to get it only from Resolve. So I can't even take these. I have to take this stuff. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to wait and do this um, after the storm. I'm going to increase this to 15 in the meantime. We have plenty of stuff. Yeah. So I can't even get reputation from, from late events. Oh boy. And that's more of those I can't use. And uh, plus one yield for packs. That would be good. Grain production. Mushroom from grain or wine. Um, let's go with this one. And then people. Uh, let's go with this one. Now I have the fabric I need. See how that works? Luck. That's how it works. Alright, uh, let's build paths out that way. Like I have a tree to trim right here. And all these out here I'd like to trim too, just because they're in the middle of the way. This can move out here. This can move out here as well. Hmm. On the road, though, would be nice. Smart. Oof. Oof. Go down to speed two again. And Jorg is here. Is Jorg a frog slash toad? Or is Jorg a troll or something? Don't know. What can we sell to Jorg? If we want to buy... Herb garden, yeah, maybe, but meh. I don't know if I'll be able to make this last or not. Because uh, reputation is going to be tough to come by. Uh, although the harpies, if I get them houses built, then they might be okay. They're just waiting for cloth now. Fabric. We're gonna run out of that pretty soon. Oops. I didn't want that, I wanted to just click that. Alright, this is clear, now they're gonna unload it. Oh, can we sell him our tablets? Not yet, because they haven't looted them yet. How much longer is he here for? I don't know. Can we get those tablets unloaded? Scavenger needs to move. Yep, that we can. That's not scavenger. This is scavenger. I don't know that we have anything else for you to scavenge, just eggs. And I'd rather trap those instead of scavenging those. Still here. Tablets haven't arrived yet, though. Crud. Oh, there they go. Ah! Oh, so close! Oh well. Next time. Next time, next time, next time. How many uh, parts do I have? Two. Means I don't really want to build storages out here either yet. Because I'm going to have to make parts or buy parts. Not fun. Not fun at all. Alright, you've opened that up well enough, I think. Um, that's good. Let's do a little bit more here, I think. Just for fun. And uh, let's go find another danger glade. Probably, probably this one actually. Let's go by way of this one though. There, like that. 
You're bored. Let's pull one of you out. We don't have any grain to make flour from. We don't really have any roots either. Food's going to become a problem pretty soon, although we are making jerky. Uh, could I throw another person in here? Stonecutter needs to move. They can come over here now. Like that clay. Uh, we have bugs to make jerky out of now. Let's do that. Oops. There you go. Could I get some more... Ooh, let's open up this one more spot here. Come here for a moment, please. Harpy houses. They're the lowest to get to the threshold, so they're the ones to build the houses for first. Because if we can get some reputation coming in, we'll be in a much, much better place. Although, we need to get it done before we're in a drizzle. Right, and you all can come back over here and keep digging. Uh, we can put... Trapper needs to move. Okay, we can put that out here. I think I can give you all a road down to that. And, uh... What other buildings can we, do we have that we need to build? I think it's just the Tinctuary. Can't really use any of it yet, but... Doesn't mean we can't build it. Right there. Okay. Uh, human houses take... Brick, right? Yeah. Low on food. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Brittle soil, small abandoned cash, and clay. We need a farm. We really need a farm. I think I need to throw another person in here. That's food. Um, and maybe I do need to have the scavenger scavenge these eggs just to get more eggs coming in, because eggs are food. Move on up here. And then let's go this way. Somehow. I guess I'll turn the road there, because we got a cache right there. That's how we do it, folks. Can't loot the cash. Yeah, none of that stuff's really usable yet, except for the pigment. We have plenty of wood and coal now, though. We could make and uh, sell pigment if we could get a building that had a trade good thing. Well, we could make it anyway, I suppose. Uh, let's set a limit on that. Okay. The walk is going to kill the food income, though. Because we're out of food right now. Especially with... Well, I'm going to have to build some storages. I might just have to, to build them a little bit more carefully. And more orders came in. Five simple tools... But wood carriers have minus five to resolve. I don't want any minus to resolves. Uh, plus one to gold bars every time we sell goods worth 30 amber. That would be good. Yep, I'll take this one. And we have Sahilda here. Herbalist camp. Can I get enough stuff sold to earn 17 amber? Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> wow, are those tablets worth a lot? Oh, boy. They're worth it. They're totally worth it. I'll just sell you some wood to get all 40 amber out of it. Well, maybe not. That's a lot of wood. That's fine. We have plenty of coal. Uh, trade. This, please. Uh, mushroom production would be good. Let's do it. 
And let's build that herbalist. Post haste. Get those, get those mushrooms coming in. That's going to cost me three... I don't have three parts. Do I? Oh no. I'm going to have to... Um, you know what, though? We could probably do away with one of the woodcutters. That would save... Does that save me parts, or does it... Let's just cost... Yeah, let's cost two parts. Let's do away with... One of these. There's a Caladorn Cauldron in here. Oh, a building we can salvage, too. Nice. Uh, let's throw two Harpies at this. We have to take the stuff. We got five parts out of the deal, though. That's good. Now we don't have to do away with that. Uh, let's get this going. We don't have any food production anyways, so. And then we'll take a look at this other stuff. Oh, good. That's a good one. If we had food. Anything else I can do for Sahilda here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Hmm. Well, we could buy some food. At least to get by. Something simple, even. Do that, and I'll sell you one more log to make it even. Um, and then that'll help. Like that. Working on this now. People. I think I'll wait. We could take the hammers if we wanted to sell them, or we could take the food. Uh, let's go with... Wait, is Hilda still here? No. And Sothar is the next one coming. Don't really want to call immediately because we're already going to have a problem here. Uh, let's... Let's wait on the people. I think I will do this one, though. Once I have the people. I signed everybody out. We need some more fabric stuff now. Can't build any more harpy houses. Really? We're right there? Uh, we're gonna do the favoring. Then. We get some resolve that way, or some reputation that way. They'll damage the humans and the beavers by five points, but they're fine anyway. Uh, Butcher's gonna get us skewers, jerky, and oil. That wouldn't be... I don't know if that's worth it. We have jerky. Nobody likes skewers. Oil's good for fuel. And for something else. But... Oh yeah, this is working. Get it done. We can get an herbalist up. Stonecutter, I think you might be done. No, we had more clay over here. And yeah, you guys can just pick on some of these trees around here, I think. We'll, we should get our way into that blade. But I think just chopping in this area is fine. Just just to collect some more wood. Alright, that's clear now. Just gonna unload it. I'm gonna keep these guys as high as we can, even though we're not getting this bonus anymore. We can still get this point, which is half the battle. So Thur is here already. Great. So do I want I can sell you coal and that's it coal production you don't oh you do have amber um, lower hostility probably not necessary pigment production or minus 15 percent storm duration i could use what could i use remember we have a constant supply of uh, training gear coming in that we're not using uh yet i could use a building to make 
that into trade goods. Um, what could I use from you? Any of this stuff? No. Should I sell some of the coal to get some amber? I could sell some coal to get the bonus to coal production. That's kind of some purpose. But coal's not worth that much. It's it's worth like three to one. So I'd have to sell way too much, so that's not gonna happen. Alright, well then never mind then. Go away. Y'all almost done with this yet? Oh, I could have taken the hammers though. I wonder if he buys hammers. Should I take the harpies though? Because that's going to hurt this because they're going to be unhoused. And I don't have the fabric to build two more houses for them. But I guess I could put them in regular houses. I should probably build some of those anyway. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that pulls them down immediately. But they're on the way up, so it might be okay. Actually, they're going to cross the threshold. You will buy these hammers. How much do you give me for them? Six. That's not great, but it's not nothing. I think I'll just take it just to have the cash, and then they'll be good. Uh, let's build another harpy house here. We could probably dig into that glade too. Then I can start in on some, just some basic big shelters, I think. Uh, five for three people, four planks for six people, so. 10 wood equals 4 planks in terms of housing. And here, it's 1 to 1. Well, then I'm just going to do regular shelters. Unless there's a bonus to happiness. No. So let's go with... Um, 1, 2... Uh, 3 of these... Three, six, nine. Yeah, that should be enough. Oh, I need to build another beaver house, though. Can you move over here? Oh, you're done already, anyway. Well, in that case... Oh, you're gonna unload your stuff. Good. And then let's do a beaver house here. Pull this person out. Pull that person out. Uh, you can... Don't, don't need to scavenge eggs anymore. Let's get this unloaded, please. There we go. And that was old, right? No, that's... Oh, it's still here. All right, it's still here. I need the parts. I can't sell them. Um, so we're going to actually end this episode here. We're over time. I meant to make this episode a bit shorter. And in the next one, we'll get this herbalist up and running. We'll farm some uh, mushrooms. Maybe we can build some storages now because we have a few extra parts. And we'll see uh, We'll see what we do here. We, we've just about made it to a point. We'll hit that point at the beginning of the next episode, I think. And then we'll be able to buy a new building. So thank you all for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.